Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader, coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. So y'all, I did a video last night that totally disappeared totally disappeared okay totally disappeared mind you that was my third try third time trying to trying to um record it and so i finally got it recorded it was only 18 minutes um and then so you know i was going to upload it and i told you shit been taking so long to upload and I upload my from my phone, so I don't know how to compress it. Cause somebody was was like, "Do you compress it first? I don't know how to do that because I do it from my phone. Um, but I know I wasn't having that problem before. Um, video was just you know up uploading quickly. But anyway, so <clears throat> I've deleted a bunch of apps from my phone or whatever because I was thinking maybe it was a, maybe it was a storage issue. So we'll see. Um, but this phone I record on, I only record on this phone. I don't do anything else on it. Um, but I had a video last night and it was called, why haven't they contacted you and what's blocking the connection? Child, the police was involved in everything in, in this reading. Um, and it just disappeared. So I'm going to try to do it again right now. I'm not going to do a morning sip. I'm going to redo that video and it was a blackout. So I'm going to do it live or, you know, where you can see it. And we're going to see what message comes out today. People always ask what I'm drinking. Uh, this is my back to your roots blend. Um, this is a, that is an Ethiopian yoga chef. Um, that's where it comes from. It comes from Ethiopia. This is what I put on my ancestor altar for my ancestors um you know if you commune with your ancestors and they they're black they come from africa um great blend great blend to use my ancestors really enjoy it um and i enjoy it i like a yoga chef anyway but that is what i'm drinking so like i said that's a great coffee to use for your ancestral veneration if you honor your ancestors let's go why hasn't Jim and I heard from this person why hasn't Jim and I heard from this person why hasn't Jim and I heard from this person why hasn't Jim and I heard from this person I haven't given I heard from this person. I feel like they're indulging with others. Okay. The insecurity, the insecurity of them. The first thought I had was this is somebody who's actually very good looking. But if you notice, most good looking people are insecure as fuck, right? So and that insecurity comes from not knowing what people's true intentions are when dealing with them. I talked about I talked about that in a video one time when I was younger. <clears throat> when I was younger, I was very very pretty, and men would only would want to deal with me as like arm candy, you know. So it got to a point to where I was insecure about why, like, what was your purpose or. What was the reason that you were dealing with me? Basically, they were taking advantage of me just because I look good on their arm. Okay. I feel like this is also somebody that's very good looking. And, <clears throat> but simultaneously insecure. Okay. I feel like they're dealing with others to feed that insecurity. Dealing with a lot of others. People who are probably kind of sexual in nature. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Yep, they got some action going. I mean, they got some action. They got some drama going on, okay? They got some drama going on, probably created because of this. I, I feel like they're dealing with others. That's why you haven't heard from them, okay? That's why you haven't heard from them. Why haven't Jim and I heard from this person? Why hasn't Jim and I heard from this person? Well, this is somebody that you're not talking to right now. And you're wondering why you haven't heard from them. Maybe they've normally popped back in your life by a certain time and that hasn't happened. They got some drama with this page of swords. They got some drama. Yep, because of that dick. I'm telling you. <laughs> they got some drama. Why hasn't Jim and I heard from this person? I feel like they've also... Wow, that's a lot of twos. So 222 two, two may be very significant 222 two, two may be very significant if you're manifesting if you're currently manifesting 222 two, 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 two symbolizes um things getting ready to come into fruition okay but also this person has options choices that's why you haven't heard from them they've made a decision they've made a decision to not contact to be honest. I feel like they're out there doing their own thing right now. They may be dealing in something that they think is a soulmate connection also. But definitely juggling and dealing with more than one person. Okay. There's more right here. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups energy. Pisces Aquarius energy. Oh, King of Cups. They're dealing with some, and I'm going to have to be honest with you guys. They're dealing with somebody that, that, that they feel like they have feelings for. Okay. They're dealing with somebody that they think is a soulmate connection. But also, I still see where they're dealing with others. So if that's how they treat what they think a soulmate connection is, <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, But yeah, they're dealing with others. That's why. They really feel like the tide has turned in their favor. Okay. And also... I have to say it, y'all, because it's this is what it is. They feel like they've met their person. Or they feel like they've met the one. The one for them. It may seem easy right now. Could be dealing with Sagittarius with this Ten of Wands in reverse. And they think that they could build with this person. Okay? They view this person as the Empress. Libra Taurus energy. I feel like drama comes along with this person, though. So they may they may not be contacting you because they don't want to deal with this. Okay, that person may not want them in contact with you. Clarify page of swords. Yep, they don't want you talk. They yep. So they were oh wow. So your person was told to end it in order to be with me. See, this person set some boundaries. <laughs> you might learn from this person. This person set some boundaries and said, if you're dealing with me. You can't be talking to other people. You need to end it, okay? So death card, Scorpio energy, hangman in reverse, Pisces energy, the lovers, Gemini energy. They may also be dealing with another Gemini. And that came out last night, that the person that they were definitely dealing with was a Gemini. <laughs> so, so your person may be dealing... <coughs> excuse me, that's that diffuser. So your person may be dealing with a fellow Gemini. Cancer energy out here with this two of cups. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Two of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. So that's why you haven't heard from them. They're dealing with somebody else that they think is the one. Or they feel like it's the one. Well, we already know it's blocking this connection, but let's... The giggles. What's blocking this connection? blocking this connection between Gemini and this person. 
What's blocking this connection between Gemini and this person? What's blocking this connection between Gemini and this person? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, three of cups. I feel like third parties were always in the way. This person was never at their, when they were dealing with you, they weren't in their power, let's just say. See, this emperor in reverse is somebody who's very controlling, very narcissistic, um, power hungry, power, it was probably was a power struggle between you guys. This is also somebody who was not in that, like, stand up, in that, like, stand up energy. So I feel like this wasn't a stand up guy or energy when you were dealing with them. Um, and I feel like third parties is what was blocking this. This person never wanted to fully make a commitment. Okay, that's what was blocking this. So you got Aries out here, Cancer out here, Taurus out here. This person was off balance. And I feel like it was always a one-sided connection where you were putting in all the work. Okay, I feel like with the world card here, this person was never fully in this cycle. Um, always one foot in, one foot out. <clears throat> and I feel like this person was not trustworthy. Okay, I feel like this person was a liar. Um, more Aries energy. And I feel like this person's intention when they were dealing with you was to play you like a fool or play you for a fool. Okay. So that's what's blocking this connection. Let me go on this Aries, um, this Emperor reverse. Yeah. I feel like it was, yeah, this person was very selfish. Yeah, this person was dealing with others with this lover's card in reverse. Refused to, I feel like this person refused to commit to anything, okay? I feel like this person kept you as a lover, okay? With this Gemini card in reverse or the lover's card in reverse. Um, but not only that, this person dealt with other lovers, okay? I feel like dealing with this, when you were dealing with this person, nothing but, there was no, nothing good about it, Okay? I'm, I'm going to have to say this also with this Wheel of Fortune card in reverse. They may have, they may not have viewed your connection as the one. Okay. With that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Or they may not have viewed it as des destined. <clears throat> yeah. Not a cups in reverse. This person would not open up to you, but I also feel like this person was offering their cup all over damn town. And it's so weird how these... Yeah, this person had options. Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. It's so weird how some of the same cards came up, came out, but now they're coming out different. Like it was upright in the other spread, but now it's reversed. Same with this Lovers, same with this Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, that's what's blocking this connection. Them, they're blocking it. I want to get an angel message. Now, can you change all this? Absolutely. First of all, I would not even acknowledge this third party. I wouldn't even acknowledge it in my affirmations. I would act like that person don't exist. Okay? And you know the drill. Bob is in love with me and only me. Bob is loyal and faithful. Me and Bob are in a healthy, loving, committed relationship. Those would be my affirmations. I would not force the 3D in any way. Okay? So I wouldn't be reaching out to him or none of that. I would just affirm those affirmations until Bob started acting like what I was affirming, period. And it is really that simple. The hard work is not acknowledging the 3P. The hard work is not repeating the old story. The hard work is not spiraling out of control every time you see something you don't like. That is the hard work. Getting your mind to line up to what you're saying. That's the hard work. If you want to change this. Okay. <clears throat> no judgment from me you know how i go spirit says no wow so i just told y'all all this opportunity <laughs> i just told y'all all that and the spirit says the spirit says no okay um i feel like there's opportunity that you need to ask your angels for okay so this is saying ask for new basically ask your angels for new or you could just manifest new Okay, you can manifest a new person without knowing who it is. Just describe what you want. I am the I am in the best relationship of my life. I am in a loyal, committed, loving relationship. 
I am in a fulfilling, whatever. And if you keep saying those things, guess what's going to pop up? In the form of a person. That. So you can manifest new if you want to. Because as I tell you, yes, spirit is guiding. Spirit is a guide. But in your reality, you can have whatever you want. Okay? So you don't have to take this, this answer. To me, tarot is just telling you what's going on right now in your subconscious or what's going on. Okay? So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video is out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.